Almost six million people visit Albert Dock each year, and Saturday was another example of the sheer magnitude as hundreds gathered to the northwest most visited free tourist attraction for Armed Forces Day to honour war heroes past and present. More than 100 personnel from the Royal Navy and the Army gathered, including Royal Marines, Royal Artillery Gunners, Engineers, Infantrymen and Chefs. A vast array of equipment and vehicles from all three services were on display throughout the day so that visitors could learn more about our servicemen and women and see firsthand some of the machinery used in action. It was really, really um, a very special day and it's because it's my first engagement on a, a parade I think I've, I've learnt a lot and what a fantastic day it was. The cadets, the veterans all performed really admirably and I was really impressed. On Monday, uh, we actually had uh, the flag r r uh, over the town hall. We were flying the flag for a week, and I actually went up on the town hall roof with some cadets. And I'm not really uh, like heights, but I mean, it was really something that I felt I had to do. And to fly the flag above the town hall, I think that's an example of the city paying our respects to all the armed forces, past and present, and the Merchant Navy, who've served this city and our country really so proudly. And as I say, you know, we're really grateful for all the uh, work that they've put in and all their service over the years. It's something that we as a city are really proud of. And as a strong crowd of young and old came together on the city front to celebrate Armed Forces Day and to honour the veterans of conflict past and serving soldiers, a whole host of activities were on show from a mocked up World War I trench to a display of how first aid posts of a century ago compare with the advanced military medicine of today. We try to put on a great show. We've got all the units from across the northwest, and we try to let all the children and adults get involved in everything we've got to offer, whether that be bomb disposal, climbing in and out of trucks, and just letting them get touch and feel the army. So today, when all the families can celebrate, you know, if they've got members of their family in the armed forces, they can see actually, you know, that it is a big family, and it's great to see everybody coming together and enjoying the day in spectacular surroundings as well. Events to mark the day were also held at the Mill Street Barracks in St Helens, Town Hall Gardens in Southport and the Gateway in Warrington. And with more than 150 events taking place across the country, opportunities were in abundance to engage in and to show support for the men and women who make up the armed forces community from currently serving troops to serve as families, veterans and cadets. Nathan Griffiths, Beatty for Liverpool.